I'm getting ready for this elite function as usual. You know me, tomato just now. And then, of course, the doctor asked me to introduce the show. So here I am introducing Dr. and Jackery Damages. So tomato just people have been writing me, asking me what happened to you. Tell them now because because people think that we kicked you out. They didn't know that you became higher, bigger, and more. You got assurance. <laughs> Assurance. So, so, talk to them. Talk to them. What happened to you? Well, actually, I've been working on my PR work. Ah. So yeah, we're about to blow. You know. So little shows like Doctor Damages don't give ah. me enough to stay. Ah, ah. So we actually got somebody else. Am I here? You know. Is this happening in my studio? We got somebody <laughs> else. She's actually really good. So ah. I'm proud is, of this is, show. Is this, this happening? You know, is I didn't this, get kicked is out. Is this happening here? Me. That little My show like Doctor Damages. She's, she's now out. big. Who are you it's working okay, with doctor. now? Who I'll are be making Who appearances. Are they You'll be making appearances. Making where and sometimes you give us some pocket money. You know, things are hard. Things are hard. Yeah, you know, okay. pocket money. Just, Bye. All right, all right, all right. Go, go, go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that on Memorial Day, uh-huh. former New York City mayor, you know him, uh, Rudy Giuliani, uh-huh. who is now the president's current lead attorney. Oh, you know him. Yes. You know him. Yeah, he received thunderous boos. Oh no! As birthday gift from inside oh, Yankee Stadium. Hey! <laughs> no, no, no. Rudy was at the Yankee Stadium to watch again. Uh-huh. Then the PA announcer told the audience that it was Rudy's seventy-fourth birthday. Oh no! And he wished Rudy well. <laughs> oh. You know, no. Well, well, Yankee fans did not feel the same. Ah! Here is their ah! reaction. Watch. The New York Yankees wish a very happy birthday to Mayor Giuliani. Fifty thousand booze. How? Now you need to hear this in the stadium to understand what I'm saying. When fifty thousand Yankee fans were booing Rudy, huh? a Malian boy is being cheered by all of France yes. for climbing the balcony of a four-story building Woo! to rescue a child. Yeah. Look at it's the guy. Look, look at that. Our black panther. Spider-Man has nothing on this guy. Nothing. Nothing. You know. I know some white folks are now wondering where did he learn how to climb buildings <laughs> like that. You know. They are wondering that is it by climbing trees? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and somebody asked me, do they have buildings like this in Mali? <laughs> no, 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 I was asked that question. You know, now the Malian boy, Mahmoud um, Gassama, you know the guy, you know, mm-hmm. who was an illegal alien, uh-huh. has since met the French president, How? Emmanuel Macron. Coming up, in- the teacher's boy at the Elias uh, Palace. Is it yeah, Elias? What do you call him? Uh, the pa- Chap Elias. Uh, Chap. Uh, Chap Elias. Chap Elise, is that what they call it? <laughs> Chap Elise, you know, some people here think they know how to. <laughs> but, but that, that was impressive, you know? That was impressive. Have you ever been invited to a palace before? You? No, no. Have you? You just go to work. <laughs> you just go to work and go home. That's not a palace. I'm talking about a real palace. Instead of you to go and look for kids to, to rescue, uh-huh. you go to work. <laughs> now, the French president. <laughs> The French president gave the Malian boy a medal of courage uh-huh. and offered him French citizenship. How? Impressive, you know. It's, a nice and, and on top of it, he has started work as an intern with the French fire service. Oh! Isn't that impressive? Are you not impressed? Ah! It made me wonder what Dino Melaye would have <laughs> done if, if President Buhari had given him a medal of courage uh-huh. for jumping out of a moving police. <laughs> I mean, you, you people don't un- think about this thing, ah, you know. No. I, I guess, I guess he will have joined the uh, Boko Haram fighters, mm-hmm. you know, hunters. Uh-huh. Those people that hunt. Them. Yeah, that, will, that will, By the way, how is Dino doing? Uh, is it true that he found a more comfortable seat uh-huh. beside David Mack uh-huh. and God's will at Babio uh-huh. and the uh, gang of PDP reformed uh, reformed saints? No, no, reform uh, tips. No, no. <laughs> Refor- <laughs> What is it? Uh, I, I'm confused. Transmission, it should, transmission. Yeah. Is it reform? Irony should be reform anyway. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you got what I'm saying. Meanwhile, 10 days after, when the news finally got to Mali, uh-huh. the accomplishment of this boy, uh-huh. the, you know you know that <laughs> their internet is slow in Mali. You know? <laughs> and it took the 10 days for the video to keep uh, finishing, uh, buffing and uh-huh, buffing uh-huh, and, and uh-huh. playing. The president of Mali finally uh-huh. watched the video. Oh, yeah. He did. Uh-huh. He did. He immediately sent a message. For the boy to come back and join the army. Two weeks. 
come back home and join the army. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God, this is the exact reaction of the boy to, to the president. Waka. I know, I know, I know. The boy has one trick. Uh -huh. He has not shown the French fire service yet. Uh -huh. You know, when they watch him pee, uh -huh. apparently in the French fire service, they watch each other pee. Uh -huh. They will see that his aim could go high like this. And that is when he will be promoted to a supervisor. Uh -huh. I mean, this is an African guy. He comes with tricks. Uh -huh. Anyway, this wasn't the first time a Malian guy had been a hero in Paris. Yes! In January of 2015, uh -huh. during an attack on a Jewish supermarket uh -huh. in the suburb of Paris, uh -huh. another young Malian called Lassan Batley uh -huh. saved the lives of six hostages, uh -huh. including a baby, by leading them to a safe hiding place. Oh! Oh, yeah! He then, he then escaped and later led police to their rescue. How? He too was given a medal uh -huh. and French passport. Hey! You see, you see, it's time to leave Nigeria. You see this, is, this is a trend, you it's know? It's time to leave Nigeria. Now. You have to go to France and do something to get a passport. Okay. Now, now, President Trump has since watched the viral video too uh -huh. of the Malian boy, yeah? And he too was impressed. Uh -huh. He wanted to bring the boy to America. You know America is better than France oh, now. So he said he wanted to bring the boy to America uh -huh. until he found out that the boy was from one of those shit countries. countries. Oh no! Oh my God. Trump confused Mali with Bali. You know, he was thinking it was Bali, and when he found out, he was like, "Come, come, 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 get 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 here, man." You bet, you bet, you bet. <laughs> anyway, why France is getting kudos for giving citizenship to the Malian boy? Mm -hmm. In Burundi, France is getting a knock uh -huh. for donating ten French donkeys uh -huh. to the country to help farmers. Uh -uh. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why? The advisor to president of Burundi, you know uh -huh. the president, uh -huh. Pierre Nkurunziza, called the donation an insult to the nation. Uh -huh. The spokesman for Burundi's Senate president, I didn't know they have Senate president, tweeted that the French were taking us for donkeys. Uh -huh. They said, he said, said did the French see how the Americans gave Nigeria twelve jets? Uh -huh. Fighter jets and they are giving us donkeys. Uh -huh. Now, now. Olé, olé, olé. <laughs> now <laughs> my crack reporters said that Burundi officials uh -huh. were expecting brand new SUVs, uh -oh. which they have decided on how to share amongst our <laughs> government officials. So they were disappointed to see donkeys. Uh -huh. You know, oh my God. donkeys. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the French ambassador to Burundi said that donkeys are land cruisers <laughs> of animal kingdom. I'm like. Jesu Mademoiselle, yes, eh? Mademoiselle had been insult to, to the injury. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> the 10 donkeys are currently under arrest. <laughs> now, when the government of Burundi decides to bring them to court, my mm. crack reporters who are stationed in Burundi, you know, we've been bringing you stories from uh, Burundi because global. we have we had them there. Global. We'll bring you the story. You see, you see, this is not about donkeys at all. No. It was all about French government's audacity in criticizing the referendum last month that uh -huh. changed the constitution to allow President Nkuruziza uh -huh. to remain in power until 2034. That's all yeah, about yeah, doctor. 2034. Do you, you know that at that point, Emmanuel Macron, uh, the teacher's boy, will have become old enough to grow mustache. Oh. By 2034, the boy will, he will have grown mustache, you know, ah. teacher's boy. So he's so far away. Now, talking of old leaders, Former Zimbabwean president Robert Mugabe, Mugabe was again no show at parliament. Ah, he's sleeping. It was the second time that the 93 year old former leader oh. failed to show up. Uh -huh. The parliament committee called him to come and explain what happened to the missing $15 billion in diamond <laughs> revenue. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Mind you, it was Mugabe who said in a 2016 interview that $15 billion in revenue was lost to corruption. How? Now, now, the parliament committee said it will invite Mugabe one more time. <laughs> if he fails to show up, they will send the police to bring him in. <laughs> now, yeah, you think watching all this and you know, Melai come to court in a stretcher was dramatic. dramatic. Just, just, just wait until Mugabe is brought in, brought in in a coffin. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the man who is going to... <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, you see, oh. you see, talking about missing money in Kenya, the anti corruption agency in the country uh -huh. is reporting that their case 
against the National Youth Service scandal suspects oh! is watertight. Uh -huh. Watertight. Watertight. Look at the headline. <laughs> did, <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, did Nigeria's EFCC hear that watertight case? Watertight case. Watertight case. Water <laughs> Has them. Ibrahim Magu ever used the word watertight? Not when he's busy wearing Buhari's campaign oh. support button, you know. Oh. Is that where he's going to talk about watertight case? Uh -huh. Now, here is the summary of the scandal in Kenya. Uh -huh. 80 million dollars chicken change for Nigeria. Million. Chicken change was missing from the National Youth Service Program in Kenya. Oh! 20 people were arrested, including the director. The whole director. Now, the accused got paid. Did they arrest directors in Nigeria? Well, the accused got paid. Like got paid. <laughs> Who Without them supplying them? the goods, they use fictitious names and receipts. Mm -hmm. One of the suspects is called air supplier by the Kenyan media <laughs> because, because, because she got paid 59 million Kenyan shillings. How? Without supplying anything to the government. In shillings? Yeah, shillings. How much is shillings? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even try. She simply handed her contract uh -huh. to supply beans, biscuits, and butter to another person. Without looking back, how she just collected the money and pew. Mm -hmm. that's good business. Now, now <laughs> the prosecutors are also going after banks uh -huh. that were involved in the transaction. How? Oh, oh, Ibrahim Magu, eh? Can someone please, please send Magu to Kenya for See internship? For internship. Uh -huh. Why he is there? Can someone explain to him what building institutions means? Oh. I mean, I mean. Okay, okay, watch. How do you respond to those who say that we have not quite institutionalized the fight against corruption? No, I, 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 I think the fact that we have been able to put this structure in place and it's ready for commissioning today and it has gone through three administrations in the EFC plus me, aside from Mr. Nouri Badu and uh, Mr. Bazir Arido Waziri. And uh, Mr. Ibrahim Lamode and as me, I'm trying to complete it. We have completed it. It shows we are we are building an institution. Uh, the EFCC has gone beyond. Ah! Who who did this to us? Oh! Yeah? Iberi Iber. Uh, Rochas, Rochas, <laughs> Rochas, come and explain this. It's not what is going on here. It is it is it is what I call a uh, Iberberism. <laughs> Iberberism. That's, that's it. Anyway, meanwhile, the Kenyan people are uh, not just sitting down looking. Uh, they went to the streets to show their anger. Uh, and they warned authorities that they will be watching uh, to make sure that someone is punished. How? This is this what I'm talking about, Nigeria. Learn from this. What is this? I'm not talking of punishment. Uh, Who is to be punished uh, for the speech that Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari, made on Democracy Day? How? What Who? Is it? Who? Who? You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't know about the I speech? Know. What, what, what was the speech? You are a very unpatriotic Nigerian. Oh, no, for not watching. No. Unpatriotic Nigerian. Just like my The speech was <laughs> full of abbreviations. Uh -huh. Just to confuse us. <laughs> I won't make you sleep through the speech again. You know, most people were sleeping. <laughs> Here is the only headline that Nigerian media got from that speech. Uh -huh. Buhari said Nigerians now report less use of generators. Uh -oh. This is the headline. You see? Can you see that? Oh! Adi, Adi! Wow! Buhari! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now, now, if, if, if that is not true about where you live, uh -huh. sorry my friend, you live in the wrong part of town. Wrong! Well, the wrong part of town! It is the same thing with those who are not benefiting from Buhari's social investment program. Oh! SIP! Ah! That's one of the abbreviations. SIP. Uh -huh. I'm talking about VP said, baby, the, the homegrown school program. Uh -huh. HGSP. How? Oh, another committee. The conditional cash transfer. Oh. CCT. Uh -huh. The N Power Job Creation Scheme. NPJSS. Uh -huh. Now, if you are not feeling any of this yet, don't worry. You are like one of those people who live in Thailand. But fish was not falling from the sky where uh -huh. they're living. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You know this stuff. Okay, watch. See your luck, you know? And they said that miracle ended uh, with Nina. <laughs> you go what I did there. You go what I did there. <laughs> now, now, things are happening to people in Nigeria. It's not happening to you. You live in the wrong part of town. 
You see, see, all the efforts made by Buhari to highlight his achievements in three years uh -huh. was undermined by a simple original video How? made by Files. How? This is Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, look. This is Nigeria. Where am Madam Philomena? Money vanished from your office. Thirty-six million. You tossing an animal. This is Nigeria. Never any recession. Oh. When looters and killers are stealers are still contesting election. Oh. <laughs> Nigeria! Oh! Help! This is Nigeria! Oh! Help! Oh. <laughs> 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 Rochas! Rochas, help me! It is, it is, it is what I call a uh, Iberberism. <laughs> That's what it is, Iberberism. You know? Why, why Buhari was spitting out figures uh -huh. of those receiving 5,000 naira? You see, uh, your people will receive 5,000 <laughs> And those receiving 200,000 naira loan. Uh -huh. A leader of Nigeria's House of Representatives uh, who, who, showed the nation why they are the ones who live in the part of town where fish is falling from the sky. Oh. Honorable Femi Baja Bemila, oh. you know the guy, the leader of the house, eh, mm -hmm. celebrated the 50th birthday of his, um, his wife uh -huh. by buying her a 100 million naira G wagon. Oh. Oh. With a customized plate number ass eh? assurance. <laughs> isn't that wonderful? Isn't that, isn't that, look, isn't, look at it. Oh no! You see, when Mamu Doka turns 50, uh -huh. I'll buy her whatever new thing Davido bought for his charmer. Uh -huh. You know. How much money would you have before you spend 100 million to buy a car Ow! for your wife? I'm sure his consistencies are happy mm -hmm. on how he's spending the consistency allowance. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's not the consistency allowance. It's not the allowance. Uh -huh. It must be um, the bribe they added to the budget in order to uh -huh. pass it. You know what I mean? Co okay, yeah, come, yeah. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. That is not called bribe now. Uh, no. You know, by the way, by the way, uh -huh. on what road will his wife drive the hundred million naira vehicle? Is it the road that is, <laughs> is it this I one? <laughs> I know, I know. It's jealousy that is worrying people like you. Uh -huh. Jealousy. You think Dino Melahe will not buy G Wagon if that will make any of his women to stay with him and take care of his neck and his back injuries? <laughs> Nothing is not really wrong with him. Ha, uh, if it was when Femi Baja Biamila oh. was called Femi Baja. <laughs> Time, you know, he would have closed his law practice, uh -huh. jumped into the next flight, uh -huh. and leave for Nigeria. Uh -huh. Leave for Nigeria or leave for Nigeria <laughs> to, to become a politician. What, what, uh -huh. am I, what am I saying? What am I saying? You know, he would have returned the hundred million naira to his client. Uh -huh. you, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you have to come to Georgia to understand what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Now, fellow Nigerians, please, please, do not lose hope uh -huh. on the state of things in Nigeria. There is hope on the way. Doctor, the there is hope on the way. Take a look. The Lord God of heaven has promised me that I'm going to re replace either uh, uh, President Buhari or President, uh, Vice President Toshibadu. Doctor! <laughs> There's hope. You know, now, no, no, okay, okay, okay. Now, now, uh, now, God is not very sure which of the men uh -huh. will finish up the rest, uh -huh. whether it's Buhari or, or Shibadu. But, but his replacement, God has penciled down. Yes. Are your fire shape? As the man for the job. He's the, he, listen to the man. I'm telling you very expressly. Once has he spoken, many times have I heard. Believe it or not, that villa is being prepared for us. <laughs> they are prepared. I hope you pay attention. They are preparing a rock for him. After he is president, he will become a pastor. No, no, no. no. The, the man has been consistent has and predicted. Take a look. Watch out. After being president of Nigeria, I will now become a pastor who will be a major evangelist all over the world. Ah! Uh -huh. eh? um, Faz, um, please help me, help me. Help me. This is Nigeria. Praise and worship is singing now. Pastor put his hand on the breast of his member. He's pulling the demon out. This is Nigeria. No electricity bill you. Your people are still working multiple jobs and they talk say we lazy. You. <laughs> this is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. <laughs> 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 
This is Nigeria. It's very fair. Now, now, the other day, our hero of democracy, former president, good luck, Jonathan. He showed up in a kitty. How? Yeah, everything's happening in a kitty. You know, he was there to commission a flyover. Uh -huh. Yes, you had me right. A flyover. Wow. <laughs> now, before you jump into conclusions, mm -hmm. this is not ordinary flyover. Uh, what kind of flyover? It's not, it's not your, you know, listen. This flyover is not just the first flyover in Nigeria. It's the first flyover of its kind in Nigeria. Nothing like that flyover in Abuja or in Bayelsa State uh -huh. or even in Lagos. Uh -huh. These are places that, you know, he was governor, he was president, he couldn't even, only in a kitty that we can find that kind of flyover. Only! Only, you know. I miss that man. I miss Jonathan, you know. He entertained us very well. Uh -huh. He entertained us again, again and again. Uh -huh. Here's another example. <laughs> Watch. Not the professor, I was not a, I was not a professor like uh, you call me governor. Ah, D.E.J. I was not in professor. <laughs> I, miss, I miss Jonathan. Can, can he run again? Is there any law stopping him from running again? I'm, he needs to go to Kenya. No, if he couldn't run, at least he could. Can, can, can he get us patience? <laughs> well, I mean, we need entertainment. He, he, said, he said, I was not in professor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rochas, Rochas, come, 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 come. Eh? What's happening? This is a PhD man. Oh, come, Rochas, help me. It is, it is, it is what I call a uh, Iberberism. Iberberism. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> this is something we call Secrets of Pictures. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Now, the picture you're looking at is a picture of a hospital in Palestine. Uh -huh. You know, Palestine, the same one. Yeah, the same uh -huh. one that is fighting with uh, Israel. Sure, yeah. Bombing, they bomb them. They uh -huh. This is their hospital. This is where they are treating their president, Mahmoud Abbas. How? Not in London, but in the hospital in, in their Palestine. Palestine. You know, you know. Mind you, mind you. By the way, Palestine they don't have they don't have oil. Nigeria's own Dangote is actually richer than Palestine. How? Oh, yeah. Dangote is richer than them. Yet Nigeria has no hospital where our president could be treated, ah! or our governors, or our ministers, or even oh. the children of the president. How? It, what, what do you call that? What? What? <laughs> what? what? It is, it is, it is what I call a uh, Iberberism. Ah! Iberberism? <laughs> yeah, that's a story it's making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Yeah. Ellen the Generous, you know uh -huh. her, and Portia the what? The Rossi. <laughs> the Rossi. <laughs> you should give something that the degenerates too. Anyway. <laughs> They, they are on a tour of, uh, of Rwanda. Uh -huh. Ellen was with her wife when in Kigali on uh -huh. holiday and to finalize plans to build a um, gorilla uh, conservation center uh -huh. in Rwanda. You know, uh -huh. you know about that? No. Maybe they can take Rosamba at the end to put her uh -huh. <laughs> in the center. You know what I mean? <laughs> when it's done, they put her be the first uh, animal. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like her, oh. I like her, but you know, she messed up. I can't help her. <laughs> Kenyan officials facing corruption charges. Uh -huh. Faint. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, 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 it's true, too. You see, this, you think these small African oh countries, they, they, watch, they watch Nigeria, they follow the news. When the giant of Africa is doing something, they learn to copy. It's spreading. Dino. Hi, good job. Good job. Metu, we are, you are ambassadors. Brand ambassador. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they don't pay you for that, but you are brand ambassador. Right? <laughs> Sending Nigeria to places. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Nonsense. <All right. laughs> Bauchi, deputy governor, uh -huh. resigns. Uh -huh. Says he's no longer interested in the job. Now, this is a definitive proof that that man is an illegal alien. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Nigerian immigration department should <laughs> move in. Get his DNA and question him. I mean, I'm, this, DNA, this, is, this is a, a pleasant <laughs> nonsense. How could he read that? It's not done in Nigeria. Who is he? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, this, this one is good. Shuwere? Sure. Saraki will, re wait, 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 wait. Saraki ah. will refund our money with interest. Uh -huh. And then he will go to jail. Oh. I'm like, yes, yes. It's time. Yes. 
<laughs> I thought then I read the details. I yeah. thought it was the money Saraki stole from Quara State. Uh -huh. I didn't know it's Sahara's money. Oh. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I was I was like, oh. I said, my bad, my bad. I thought, oh. I thought we were talking about Quara State money and <laughs> you know, forget that I was I was excited. <laughs> I was thinking that yes, finally we get him. <laughs> anyway, federal government spends two hundred and forty one billion. <laughs> Every year on security votes. Oh. And that they are illegal. Ha! Giant yeah. of that, that is um, a, a, a Transparency International. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, see, you see, they said it's been increasing since the election time is coming. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, are they actually security <laughs> votes or are they referring to some. No, because, because it's some. Oh. Like, this is campaign money. Is, campaign, don't you think? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> security vote. You security votes. Nonsense. They think we are stupid. Nonsense. It's time for your email! <laughs> It's time for your email. It's time for your email. Wow. 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 You know, see uniform. Wow. Nice, nice to see you. I know. Thank we you. We should get it. a name tag so mm -hmm. that people will see you and no, they will know. No, true. Know. I agree. Yeah. Did you see? Uh, the, the I saw her. She was here. Oh, I did, saw did, her. Did, did, how did you greet her? Did you bow when you greeted her? <laughs> You did not bow. No. I mean, she handed over the baton to you. Did she give you? Oh, she didn't. No, she didn't. No tips on how to. No tip out. How to make doctor did. happy? Uh, because if the doctor is not happy, there's trouble. You know. Doctor, you have to tell me <laughs> that. <yourself>. No, no. <laughs> too much. Just will tell it because no problem. it's over the years she mastered it. No problem. She say, that. she said she's coming back, but she's gone. She said she'll come back once in a while. <laughs> once in a while, when she's uh, when she's down, when she's broke, she's gone for. <laughs> Do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Okay, let's see them, please. Our first email is from Abdul Shakur Amin. Amin. Abdul Shakur Amin. Wait, 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 wait. I remember. In Kaduna? Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. My yes. friend is my That's friend. him. Yes, That's yes, him. yes, yes, yes. This he... hotel we used to hang out, you know, go there and, you know, watch polo. You know, when mm -hmm. life was yeah, good. Yeah, you know? back in, in the, the days, right? Back in the days, in the 80s, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. And he writes, yes. Dear Dr. Damages, mm -hmm. this is the first time ever I'm writing you an email. I thought he's my friend. Yeah. I love what you do oh. and I'll keep watching your show. Wow. Keep doing what you do best. Thank you. Noise Thank maker, you. thumbs up to you. And lady reading the mail, the email is appreciated. Wow. Oh. This, is, this is a nice guy, you know? I Sometimes think we God like to hear. You. We like to hear from nice people. People abuse us enough. You know that I know. They are patches all over our body, but <laughs> when nice people talk, it's like a bam, you know. Next, 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 let's go, let's go. We are running out. Uh, you know, our second email go. is from Okuma in Dubai. Dubai? Ah, have you been to Dubai? It's a wonderful <laughs> in transit. Uh, in transit, that's the same too. <laughs> I was too hot, I couldn't come out. But mm -hmm. go, go, go ahead. what does he want? Doctor, doctor. He sees my friend. Much respect from the Middle East. Wow. I can't express enough gratitude, happiness, and humor I feel whenever I listen to your news analysis. This is wonderful. Good emails today. Yeah. You make fun out of our Nigerian miserable situation. We try. And I believe it's only it's the only way to digest it. We have to. Follow Thank you so much and keep it up. Wow. Meanwhile, let nothing happen to our noise maker. He didn't show up today. I well, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> we we, we, we had a meeting and we said, okay, don't don't speak over the doctor. You know, because it doesn't look good. You know. And Today he didn't show up, you know. But we hope next week he will be. Now he back. knows. He knows. He knows. Maybe next week, you know, if he doesn't come, we buy for four five weeks. Tell you about to him. Any more emails? No, that's it. No, doctor. That's, that's all, all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Doctor Damages at gmail dot com. And follow us on Twitter at Doctor Damages. And on Instagram at Doctor Damages. Now here's my concern for today. It's taken from page four one nine of the book This American Life by Edward Eagleston, and it says, uh huh. Persistent people begin their success where others end in failure. Oh! I go deep to get this. <laughs> yes! Persistent people begin their success where others end in failure. Bam! Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose you, you, you yourself! yourself. <laughs> no, no, this uniform is good. It's, it's, it's good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Have you received it? I'm still waiting. Have you received Let me Let me repeat the question. Have you received it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, now some of people think you come here to play. Have you received the app? He's in his face. You know what? You know what? You know what? Back this is from he's he's from, he's from Rochas of Rochas. I go state. I am Rochas. This is part of this battle. This battle. This battle. This battle.